Hey everybody, it is the Brink of Sanity, episode 204. How you doing, Mark? Good, good. Are we going to let the listeners know now? Know what? We, when we did this show, we had 203 episodes worth of, I, of things to talk about. We are now out of ideas. Yes, we, we have jumped the shark. Uh, Some may doing? say we have jumped the shark a long time ago. <laughs> Um, if you've noticed, we are recording the show a little late tonight, starting at nine like fifty. Which How would is they pretty notice late. that? What did you say? How would anybody notice that we're recording? <laughs> like, as you notice with this pre-recorded show that's going to come out <laughs> like tomorrow morning, we're recording late. <laughs> Maybe they'll notice by the fact that we seem really tired, yeah, really out of it, and have yeah. nothing to talk about. Um, we are recording an hour later than expected because. I, um, as a good husband, watched the f- series finale of Parenthood with my wife before we did the show. So it was a two-hour finale? What the hell? Well, my children go to sleep so we, at like 8, 8.30, so oh. 8.30 to 9.30. What, what oh, math can't you, can't you do? What was that? What math can't you do? I didn't know it was an hour show. Oh, why not? Why would you not know Parenthood is, a, is an hour show? Isn't it normally a half hour? <laughs> you don't watch Parenthood regularly? Like, um, I, believe, I believe according to NBC, no one actually watches Parenthood, including members of the families of the cast. And I don't know how it's been on the air this long. It's a half hour show. It's an hour show. Really? Wait, have you ever watched the show? I watched one episode because isn't the guy from Six Feet Under in that? Yes. The yeah, guy from Six Feet I like Under, him, but then I watched it and I'm like, yeah, this is kind of more for parents. Yeah, it's an okay show. It's kind of like a, a show. The whole time you watch it, you're like, "Oh, this could be better." Not. That's the way I felt about Always Sunny since like season three. Oh, I just kind of stopped watching that show. That I'm still terrible. watching that. I had to. I had to cancel watching the league. It, it, got, oh. it got ridiculous the last season or two, but uh, I still watch Always Sunny for some reason. Well, so those are shows like had like really good idea premises, and like they were really funny at first, but then you run out of ideas. There's always sunny is st- like the Patton Oswald of sitcoms though. Like it, really, really good delivery. No punchline. Yes. Yeah. Like you're like, Oh, this is going to be great. And then like it kind of just stuff happens and then it's over. Yeah. You're like, Oh, I can see how this would be funny. Yeah. Good. Good call. Try again. Try again. Try again. <laughs> yeah. Um, so 10 years yeah. later, I'm still watching the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I basically had to watch this. I, I, I like it enough to watch it. We have like very few shows, and so like I didn't know when we were going to watch it next. So I was like, eh, "Jake can stay up later. Screw him." You yeah, appreciate I'm, that, right? I'm getting less and less shows too. We we were watching um, uh, American Horror Story, the uh, the for whichever the Dark Circus, whatever free show. How, how was that? Show. It's not very good. We watch about one episode a month. We don't hate it enough to fully like delete them, but. We only get in the mood to watch it like once a month. I kind of bailed on, on that show after the first season. Like it was good first season, but then like I started watching the second. I don't know. That's there's another show where really like I know you said it was really good. Like the uh, the the third season, second season was terrible. Yeah, the third season. I guess once I have a bad season, I can't go back and go, like say, oh, the next season's gonna be good. Yeah, no, it's hard. I mean, I just say for that show because it's a different cast and an entire plot each uh, each season. Right, so it can be totally different. I don't. There's so many shows out there now. Everyone's like, "Oh, you should watch this. Oh, you should watch Newsroom. You should watch." Uh... I know there's like 30 shows on my list, and I'm like, I don't really just, I don't want to start a new show. You've never watched Battlestar Galactica? What about uh, that show Oz? You never watched that? You know what? I'm gonna watch 300 hours of TV in a row just so I can go, like, oh, no, I've watched that. I've watched that. Why, you really watch a lot of TV? Yeah, No, I, I, I caught up, okay? Leave me alone. <laughs> I mean, the conversations usually, unless it's like a a show where, where it's like there's some sort of um, mystery to it, like Lost or something. Like most shows, it's like, did you see that? Yeah. 
It was really good, right? Yeah, it sure was. All but right. it's also conversations that are like, oh, you never watched West Wing? Yeah. It's been off the air for 20 years. What, who the fuck cares? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's a great show. I'm sure I, my life would be changed if I'd watched it. By the way, other than Battlestar, I haven't seen any of those shows you mentioned either. <laughs> Uh, Boardwalk Empire, another one. It's supposed to be really good. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. I'm not. I'm not saying it's a bad show by not watching it. I just haven't gotten around to it. You know, there's a lot of shows on TV these days. I'm gonna start like doing that in... with uh, with just things I do. I'm just like, oh, you never read the first 500 issues of X Men? <laughs> oh my god! Better get on that. You haven't played whatever video game I play a lot. 300 hours in a row on Saturday night for New Year's Eve. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I just think I, it's also like back in the day. So like now there's like 300 shows. Everyone can watch different shows. And they're like, oh, you haven't watched this. Back in the day, you'd be like, oh, did you catch that Save by the Bell? Of course, nothing else is on TV. I, I watched that Save by the Bell. I've, I've seen every Save by the Bell. So have you. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there's... Family Ties. We've all seen Family Ties. Yeah. Yeah, there's like. There's three channels, and they each have uh, a show for a different demographic. So, yes, I've seen the one for my demographic. <laughs> you should get into Three's Company. I, I, I guess I, I – yeah, I get, yeah, I, I watch it because it's on TV. I'm not into it, okay? <laughs> Remember T- uh, everyone watched TGIF? Thank God it's Friday. Yeah, uh, yeah that was uh, – the stuff that we had, I don't know why, like, uh, writing was so bad back in the day. I don't either. It's like, you go back and you watch some of the shows, and you're like, this is borderline unwatchable. I, uh, my wife was, a uh, was changing channels. I called my wife instead of just calling by her actual name, like I would normally, a normal conversation with you since we're doing a show rambling right now. But, uh, it, I think she was turning channels and it was like one of those like old time Nickelodeon whatever channel was um it was facts of life came on mm-hmm. and as we were watching the facts of life i swear to god the writers of the show must have had down syndrome <laughs> it doesn't even make fucking sense it's like it's like 2d you were you were not paying attention okay whatever your name is then later on you're right i wasn't let's hug the end yeah every single sitcom had like somebody getting upset and then a big making up at the very end with sappy music yeah, and they weren't like the conflicts. Like, just were they not allowed to develop storyline? Hey, maybe you know what? We should develop this 2D character a little more. You're fired. <laughs> Everyone has to have one personality trait and do that every single episode. <laughs> Blair will be the, uh, the promiscuous one. You mean the whore? We call it promiscuous because it's the 80s TV. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's not a lesbian. She just likes motorcycles and leather jackets. <laughs> And bitches. <laughs> yeah, and vaginas. <laughs> yes. Um, so what's new with you, Jay? Are you still uh, not sleeping ever again? Uh, I'm sleeping a little bit now. I think this, uh, what you call placebo pills, I think they're actually working. Uh, somebody really? said what if they're working. Like these to, days? Somebody said if they're working to put them on the Facebook group, so I'll list them after the show. Uh, what am I sleeping <laughs> like? Yeah, yeah, what's your sleep like? Are you like you going down to sleep, and how many times a night are you waking up? And can um, I give these pills to my baby? <laughs> I'm waking up maybe <laughs> maybe three times, and I'm falling right back asleep, which is better than not falling asleep for two straight days. Okay. Three times, though? Um, yeah, but it's not like I'm waking up with, like, my heart pounding or, you know, like it was. It's kind of like, you know, my eyes opened for a second, and I was like, eh, then I go back to sleep. I mean, it was like 200 times, like, a week ago. <laughs> Just the whole time you're sitting laying there, I mean, like, I'm going to fall. Yeah, yeah, it was just <clears throat> nonstop panic. Uh, I had a sleep study on, uh, what, Wednesday night? Oh, I was going to ask you if you did that. So tell us about the sleep study, Jay. Well, it's super awkward. Well, um, could we just reenact it right now? I guess your your reenactions <laughs> usually go off the rails pretty quickly. But Jay, why is everyone the biggest <laughs> creep when they talk to me? Jay, step step into my office. We're not even supposed to be going to an you're, office. You're gonna lay down on my desk. I'm gonna. Whew, I 
I cleared everything off my desk. This isn't really what I was I <laughs> had in mind. <laughs> could you could you could you remove your clothing? That your clothing. This wasn't in the brochure I was sent. Are you sleeping yet? Hush. <laughs> I'm I haven't even you feel my warm breath desk. over you. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, how's the sleep going now? How do you feel? Well, considering it's been three seconds since you last asked, I'm still awake. What about now? Yeah, now I'm asleep. Jay, tell me about that time you you let your cousin touch you. Mm, excuse me? <laughs> Is that how it went? Yeah, that's exact. I can't believe you must have been there. That was actual uh, actual audio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what happened? Uh, let's see. You go in there and they give you, he's like, let me give you a little tour. It's like a, a 10 by 10 room. And there's one other door, which is obviously the bathroom. So the tour didn't really last very long. Uh, so you get in your pajamas and then wait, he's like, let me give you a tour. Here's the bathroom. Well, because well, not more like that. I mean, like, why is he going to give you a study, a tour of the, like the sleep study place? Well, cause that's where I'm spending the night. No, it's like he shows me my my like bedroom for the night. But you have it, a bedroom? Yeah. Oh, I guess I figured you were sleeping for like you could like, take like a nap there. You sleep there the whole night. Oh yeah, yeah, you're there the whole night. Okay, so where where is this place? It I'm is, intrigued, Jay. It's actually right by you. It's on 61st and York. Don't give away my home address, Jay. <laughs> That's exactly your address. <laughs> um. Oh, really? So okay. So you go in there. It's like a what's the setup like? So it's uh, it's a bed. It's like a tall cabinet to so hang up your coat, and there's a there's a pretty big flat screen TV, and and there's a bathroom. Okay, so it's kind of like a like a mini hotel room. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and so uh, you go there. What time do you get there? Nine fifteen. Okay, you go there nine fifteen. Where's the guy? Is he sitting like on a chair, like staring at you up by the bed? There, no, there's a control room because there's like there's eleven other rooms, so he's got like monitors, and he's watching and listening to everybody. I think there's so, a few so, people. So, so what do you do for a living? Um, I get to stare at people while they sleep, and I, I beat off like twelve times a night. <laughs> I think there's probably like three of them, and they they monitor twelve rooms. If uh, after the sleep study, he was like you came out there, and he was like. Um, these are the results on your sleeping, and here's a painting I've made of you sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> would it, would, you would like it be awful painting? if there was just something to, like, you know, you just rub your balls all night while you're sleeping. <laughs> you stick your finger in your rectum. Is there a reason for that? <laughs> <laughs> you're, like, laying in bed. Don't stick my finger in the rec- my rectum. Don't stick my finger. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> so, so you go in there, and then... After you get in your pajamas, he starts putting all these... What kind of pajamas do you wear? Well, I usually wear boxers and a t-shirt, but I put, uh, I put like, workout like you... shorts over the boxers. Okay, I'm just, like, wondering if you wore a normal outfit. Like, I have, like, shorts and a t-shirt, but, like, some people, like... Like, would you break out a pair of, like, real pajamas you bought from, like, Target? I actually almost did, and then I'm, like... I, I have trouble sleeping when I get too hot, so I didn't want, like, long pants on. It was... Wouldn't it be... I figured it would be hard real... enough to sleep under those conditions. <laughs> It would be really funny if you showed up with like a pair of like pajamas, but they had like the wrinkles from like being folded into like a little plastic thing. <laughs> so they knew they knew it was right out of the box. You're like, Jay, did you get a new outfit for this? Well, I like in the paperwork. No. They, <laughs> I like in the paperwork they sent me before I went in. It, it specifically says you have to wear clothes. <laughs> uh, so after you get in there, um, uh, you have to like. Is this? I know it says that, but is there some negotiation room here? There's got to be some wiggle room. Like once I'm under the covers, I can slip this off. When you when you say clothes, can I wear a sock? <laughs> <laughs> Worked for the Chili Peppers. Um, <laughs> go on. So then he puts um, uh, all these monitoring things all over. There's probably like a dozen like on your head, all over your scalp. There's a couple like right on your face. I'm sure you'll sleep really well now. There was one right behind your ear, which is, uh, you know, on the side of your head, which is really fun because when you lay down, you had this, you know, button thing like 
pressing into your ear, which kind of hurt. That was fun. Uh, uh, we found from the sleep study, you do not like to sleep with stickers all over your body. <laughs> they have uh, they have sensors on your chest, on your rib cage, and uh, one on each leg. Okay. Uh, so then you get all that in, and then you have to go to the bathroom. Because that's the way it goes. It's just like a little kid. So then, they, they tell you you have to go to the bathroom? No, it's like just, you know, it takes like a half hour for them to put all that stuff on you. Um, and then so I they have, put it under your outfit? Well, most of them are on your head. The only ones that are under your outfit really are is the one on your chest and the one on, on your ribs. Okay, They're, so you're into the outfit. They're like, Jay, do you have to go potty? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, because all those wires hook up to this little device, and that device like has to uh, stay on the bed. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah. Th- then you you annoy him by running into the bathroom, and then uh, you come back out. He hooks you up to the device, and then he just uh, he le- he says, "All right, I'm gonna leave the room, and we'll make sure everything's working." So now you're laying in bed in the dark, and do you watch any TV? I didn't watch TV. Um, I brought a book, so I I turned on a lamp, uh, and read for a little while. Walking Dead. When you say book, was it a comic? No, it was a, it was an actual novel. Okay. Um, yeah. So uh, then then you, there's this little speaker like right behind your ear, and he starts talking to you, and, <laughs> and, and that's how could they we, make sure could, everything. Could, could, we, could we reenact that? <laughs> sure. Jay, 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 Jay. One lamb jumping over. What? One sheep. Two sheep. Three sheep. I don't think this is going four to sheep. Five sheep. Six sheep. Do you do this for everybody, or is this like a personal service? It's kind of creeping me out. <laughs> what if you just, what if you just, just insisted on counting sheep? You're like, I don't think. I think. Don't think it's actually. No, 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 Jay. Just go with it. Nineteen sheep. Isn't the whole process I'm supposed to envision the sheep, not be told about the sheep? Isn't that 21. Thing? Just go with it, Jay. Go with it. 22. 20. <laughs> 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 like, how many times do you think they had to, when they were starting this lab up, they had to adjust things and be like, that's a little too creepy, Martin. We're going to make this a little less creepy so people can actually sleep here. <laughs> yeah. So what does he say to you? What, what sweet nothings does he say to you? Uh, well, that's where he has to uh, see if the the stuff is working. So he asks to like you know look to your left, look to your right, and I'm like, oh my god, in the dark this thing could see that good. Where it could he could see like where I'm looking if my eyes open. That's kind of disturbing. Uh, so they tell you look up and down, uh, breathe in, hold your breath, uh, wiggle each toe. So I guess he could also like see through my sheets and see that my toes are moving. Okay. Um, and then uh, once he's done with all that, I could turn the light back on and, and like read for a little while. Uh, and then, uh, of course, like an hour after I'm laying there, I have to go to the bathroom again. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, I can't like. Do you, I get up like I have to go to the bathroom like three or four times before I go to bed. Me too. I, is it like I'm like, am I in normal? Does that happen to you also? It, it, it didn't like when I was younger, but now it does. Like, yeah, I basically I, like I go to I'm going to go to bed, so I stop in the bathroom, go to bed. Then I'm like, kind of have to go a little more, get out of bed, yeah, exactly. go back. It's like within a like, half hour, yeah. Then I'm like, I have to go a little more, you know. But I can just sleep, you know. I can just hold it. It's only a little bit. Like, Fuck, let's get up. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the bathroom. Okay, okay. Now it's like every night I do this. I, I think something's like wrong with me, probably. Yeah, but I'm glad to hear your prostate's fucked up, also. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, so I, I held her for like an hour or two, and then uh, I, was, I just I said like really softly, I'm like, uh, kind of have to go to the bathroom and immediately. Fuck it, Jay, I can't believe you fucked this up for us. We, we I mean, I, Jay, we set this all up, and you're supposed to go to the bathroom before. Fuck this. <laughs> immediately, <laughs> the guy's like, "Be right there," and I hear footsteps down the hall, and the door opens like ten seconds later. I'm like, "This is really creepy." I, I wish he, I wish he, I wish he had said, "Fuck this," I quit and just left. And you heard nothing else. <laughs> that was the thing that put him over the edge. <laughs> and you're like, do I still lay here? Did, was this, is this part of the study? Or did you really quit? And I'm just going to lay here for an all night for no reason. <laughs> Go on. So he comes to you in, with a cup or what? Or no, you no. He just, he just unhooks uh, the few things. Oh, yeah. There was also this. 
one thing he put on my middle finger. Uh, How do you sleep with all the stuff on you? It's not easy at all. I, I felt like I didn't sleep, but he said I slept enough to, uh, you know, get enough data. So I, I must have slept a few hours, but like it feels like you didn't sleep at all. So you felt like miserable in the morning. Uh, pretty much, yeah. And that thing on my middle finger was like squeezing it, and it was like hurting. And I'm like, well, this is this is an extra thing that's going to be fun. So I learned from my study that I don't sleep well in a lab. It was funny because they, uh, when you wake up, they give you a questionnaire in the morning because that's what you feel like doing is you know reading and answering questions after getting no sleep. And the questions are like, uh, compared to a normal night's sleep, how 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 do you think you slept? And it's like better, the same, or worse. So I'm like, does anybody click better? <laughs> Seriously, I know I had to study them last night, but do you have a home kit where I, I, I attach some electrodes to my head? I, I would it also really... like a couple of video cameras and a microphone behind my ear. Be and cool. if you could just talk to me before I go to sleep every night, so yeah. it's, it's, it's cool. It's cool. I'll, well, maybe give me a phone call and just tell me tell me stuff. <laughs> So all the things he puts on your head, there's like this gooey, like gluish stuff that they, uh, I guess they put that on like the wire and then just mash it on your head. And I had no idea he was doing that. I thought it was like, um, almost like, uh, well, the ones on your chest are like sticky, like a band aid type of thing. Okay. Uh, so I didn't know the ones on the head were like the gooey stuff. So he, he takes all the stuff off and then he's like, all right, you know, you could get changed you could shower if you want or just leave uh and then he but then he's like oh the sh- the warm water takes like 10 minutes to come on i'm like i'm just gonna go home and shower and go back to work yeah so i'm about to leave and i like scratch part of my head and it is like this big lump of this gooey stuff and i go into the bathroom and i look in the mirror and it's all over my face and head i almost went out on the subway with all this stuff all over me i would have looked insane or fit in well <laughs> yeah, or got in my own seat for once. Yeah, I would have had my own car. Can I? Can I? Can I sit there? Oh, oh really? You... Okay, I'm not pregnant. Okay, fine. That's fine. Cool. <laughs> um, that's fine. So did you have to? Did you actually shower there? No, no, no. I uh, I just wet a paper towel and got all the gooey stuff off, and then I went home and showered. Cause, uh, Wouldn't I... it be weird if they were like, "Don't take the take off the uh, the monitors for the shower"? <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew the. Uh, um, the pillows would suck, so I brought my own pillow, and I had work, and I had my first day of class that evening, so yeah. I didn't want to bring like an overnight bag and a pillow and all that shit to my like fourteen hour day that I had the next day. So what was the uh, so what was the like verdict at the end? What do they say like about your your sleep? Uh, they have three doctors that uh, all go over the data, so I don't find out until Monday. So I guess this wow, that's will that's awesome and helpful right now. Yeah. Did you tell me you have a show to record? <laughs> well, now we have this uh, ongoing saga of uh, Jay's anxiety and sleep stuff. What what goddamn suspense? What will you reveal from Jay's sleep study? Yeah, um, it would be, it'd be that... great if like next week it's like, hey, guys, we have a funny comedy show. I have a heart murmur. <laughs> <laughs> oh, turns out I have AIDS. <laughs> We're done. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, That's awesome. So, um, anything more about the sleep study? Uh, no, I think th- I think that's it. That's Please. great. You want to? Uh, so, totally different subject. Why not? Yeah. Uh, so here's a uh, little. I don't know if you quite call it a fight as much as a little. I don't know if Tiff is too gay of a word, but a uh, little disagreement my wife and I had. Okay. Um, so my Was son it is over now the in finale preschool. of uh, Parenthood. Oh yeah, they they killed off the grandfather. Like I don't know why. At the end of the show, like there's a grandfather who's like the patriarch of the family, and the last season they gave him a heart attack. They were like, then he served to survive, and they like gave him like another like heart issue. And the last episode with like five minutes to go, they're like, he's dead. Your character is worst life ever guy. It's Coach from a uh, well, Coach, hmm. but uh, Hayden Fox. Um, and I'm like, like, why do you Craig T. Nelson for everyone that doesn't realize? No, um, but I don't know why they had to like, kill him off. It was just like, hey, guys, let's, let's make sure we kill him off. Like, I don't know in the writer's room. They're like, hey, this will make. All right, we're back. Okay, so now they kill off the grandfather. Left. Anyhow, fight my wife, me. Here's what happened. So my son's in preschool. He's like three and a half years old. We're in Manhattan. Preschool in Manhattan. 
not going to get into the exact actual number, but it's kind of expensive. They ask you, ask you for a lot of money. We're dumb enough to pay it anyway. Uh, so maybe a month or two, month, month and a is, half. Is he actually doing like crazy things in there? Like I was talking to this girl at work and, and her son is like, has homework and is like doing math and uh, how old's her son though like eight preschool he has homework yes when i was in preschool i was like finger painting and having nap time you don't even remember what happened in preschool there's no way you even have memories from that i have like one memory and i was coloring i, I don't believe you have that memory <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> i can't disprove it but like pretty much people don't have memories from that age like someone was telling me like at work they're like the snow, they're like, oh, you should take your, your, your son ski um, on sledding. I'm like, we might just play in the snow. She's like, you know, my, one of my best memories from being a kid was when we were sledding, when in the snow. And I'm like, listen, he's not going to remember this shit. So, okay, like, shut up with your, your memories, okay? <laughs> um, anyway, so he doesn't have real homework. They just do like, uh, he's at a, it's like a, it's at a temple and they do like a lot of Hebrew stuff. And like, he knows more about Judaism than I do, I think. Uh, Anyway, so they uh, about a month and a half ago or so, they were like, oh, we're having this Shabbat lunch um, on, it's on a Saturday um, for all the family and extended family. So bring the grandparents. And so like my in-laws are going to come and like we're all going to go and like, OK, great. And then like pretty recently they were like, oh, you know this Shabbat lunch thing we're having? It's $30 a person. And $30 like, for a preschool lunch? Yeah. What the hell are they serving there? It was going to be like for five of us, be one hundred fifty dollars. What the hell are like, they serving there? Yeah, I I, I don't know. Um, they're not serving anything to make it worth one hundred fifty dollars. And I was like, hey, do you think this was kind of deliberate that they said you all should come to this, and then like, like a much while later mentioned the price, so like you already committed to it, and then they were like, oh hey, remember that thing that you thought was free? Here's how much it actually cost. Yeah, that that's a little shady. And my wife's like, no, no, they just don't think people care about the money here, and like, because we're on like we're in Manhattan. And I'm like, no, I think that was a deliberate marketing tool. Like, just, they deliberately just do that to make you feel like guilty for even giving a shit about money. And uh, so I was like, oh, so we just shouldn't go. And she's like, well, we said we were gonna go, and all the other kids in the family, like their the email list, they're all gonna go. I'm like, yeah, how about we don't go still? <laughs> um. I guess I went on about it enough that she was like, fine, we won't go. And I'm like, and now she's like, oh, it'll make me feel guilty for us. I'm like, you can go. She's like, no, I can't. Because if I go, you're going to bring this up forever and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> she knows uh, you. <laughs> she knows me well. Cause I will. I really will. Because she once, uh, she once, there was a, there was a time when she um, had gotten, gotten food from like a takeout place and said they had a really good deal. The salad she'd gotten was $13. I think it concluded a soup. And I said, Thirteen dollars for a salad? Are you kidding me? And that thirteen dollars salad, we've gone, I've gone on and on about for like, it's been years now, and she and I, and I still bring it up from time to time. It's it's a joy being married to me. Well, I mean, uh, anytime you could pay thirteen dollars for lettuce, it's, uh, it's it's definitely a good deal. Thirteen dollars for a salad? I was, I was like, it was one to just take out like those the, the, you you make it like the, the delis. I was like, thirteen dollars is not a good deal. And if this is what you think a good deal is, I need to watch your finances closer. <laughs> Um, so anyway, so I guess like, uh, the first part of it was, do you think I am wrong to say that we shouldn't, we should back out of it? No, I, I think anytime you, uh, uh, you know, you have an event that requires, that involves money, you should let everyone know first thing about it. Like, yeah, they're being dicks, not me being a dick. Also, it's a preschool lunch. You're not supposed to you know they're probably going to serve like you know peanut butter and hot dogs or something and you know <laughs> jay's vision of the temple is really weird well, yeah i don't know what they the jewish people eat but uh, i'm assuming it's going to be since it's for preschool kids they're going to have kids food and it's going to be cheap i, I assume they'll have adult food too because there'll be adults there well for, but uh for, the, for 30 dollars, they better have like you know legitimate food I don't know. Either way, like we're like we're supposedly looking at like looking to move. We're not going to be going there next year. And she's like, "But I feel bad if he's left out." I'm like, "I'm like, first off, he won't give a shit. No one, no kid at the, the no kid at the school is going to be talking about on Monday how great the Shabbat lunch was. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't there, Zach. No one's ever going to say that. 
They're then, probably then not even going to remember no. they went. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to remember they won. So, um, they actually have like each each like week they have like a quote from the kid about what they did this weekend. And like there was one weekend like I went to the beach, I had fun, and Liz was like, my wife was like, oh, we didn't go to the beach, so I don't know what he's talking about. Why is that his quote? <laughs> Wait, but that was, was your son's quote? Yeah. <laughs> he just like made it up. I, I don't know. And there was another one, like no matter what we do, in the, like, the, dude, the quote has like nothing to do with anything that happens. <laughs> the, the most recent one is, I stayed in my room, my baby sister cried. I'm like, great. We did lots of stuff that weekend. I'm not sure that part happened. <laughs> well, I'm sure your baby cried. Yeah, she probably cried at some point, but like he cries more than she does half during the day. I don't know. <laughs> well, he whines more. Um. Anyway, so uh. Anyway, so the second part of it. <laughs> um. So I'm dropping my kid, uh, my son off at school, um, like I do every morning on Thursday, and uh, the, when I'm there, I'm dropping him off, and the teacher's like, "Oh, so how many of you guys are coming for the? How many people, members of your family are coming for the Shabbat dinner, the Shabbat lunch?" And I was like, "Oh." Um, on the spot, um, I'm going to have to ask my wife about that. I don't know. Meanwhile, I could just said, no, we're not going. Or, and so then they, like, they, they texted her to go, like, how many people are coming? And she's like, why did you defer it to me? Why didn't you just tell them? And I was like, oh, I probably should have, but I didn't. <laughs> and she was kind of annoyed that I didn't, I didn't tell them. Yeah. She's like, now you, now, you, now you make me look like I'm making up an excuse. And I'm like, yeah, because we are. And it's just because like, you're being cheap. I'm like, yeah, it is. Just, just tell them your excuses. Your husband's cheap, okay? Just who gives a shit? And then she like, she like, made a whole thing about how like, uh, this is like an hour. The first hour of my work on uh, on Thursday was her making me feel like, it's like they're making me like, you make me feel you made me feel awkward for doing this. Now I can't I don't I can't drop them off tomorrow at school like I'm always supposed to. <laughs> so he's just not going to school anymore. <laughs> I dropped him off on Friday, even though she normally does on Fridays, because she didn't want to face the teachers because we weren't going to Shabbat lunch. Okay, this has gotten way out of control. Yes, <laughs> this is the insanity of um, being married to a Jewish mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really where the story ends. The Shabbat lunch is tomorrow. We're not going. <laughs> <laughs> and she's she's really pleased with me. Yeah, it's. it's I, I was imagine. like, "What would you like? You like you? I'm like, you think you agree? It's a complete scam. They should have told us." She's like, "Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. What would you have done if I hadn't said anything? We would have gone." You know, what do you mean I, you, 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 you would have gone? She's like, "Yeah, but I, I, I would just gone." But you agree it's a scam? Yeah, I would have gone. At a principle, you shouldn't. They shouldn't get away with that. In fact, they should be told that it was kind of shady what they did. <laughs> And then I'm going to tell like the preschool teacher like, who probably makes like 30 grand a year that like, oh, it's shady. And she'll be like, she'll be like, yeah, I don't make much money. So I don't like, cause I imagine these schools work is like, there are like three people that make a lot of money from all the tuitions and then everyone else gets paid shit. And Isn't then they do like these, every, these, these, these things that are like fundraisers cause the school needs more money. That's like every job in America. Three guys yeah. make money and everyone else works their ass off. And then later that day on Thursday, my son fell off the seesaw. And um and like the teacher like texted uh, my my wife that like he had like his, his lip was cut, and I was like, well, what did the what did the school nurse say? And she's like, I don't know, they didn't mention that. So I called up and they're like, oh, we don't have a, a nurse on premises. I'm like, wait a second, I pay a ton of money and you do fundraisers on the weekend and you guys can't afford a goddamn nurse? Yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. You'd think that would be a requirement to have a a nurse at a school. Yeah, it's a full school also because they have like grades like they go all the way through like elementary school in this, this place. This place sounds real shady. It does sound really shady. I don't know about this place, man. I, I don't know. I either. think they're I brainwashing hope, I hope your kid <laughs> with some re- religious hoo-ha and, uh, and then they're trying to scam me out of money on top of it. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it, it's corporate America to begin with. Like we get, we get you like your, your fears because you're, you're like your most prized possession and then we just keep charging you for stuff. And then they get hurt. You're like, they're like, if you if you're in the area, you could take them to the doctor if you want. Oh, okay. Well, how bad does it look? Well, I can't really say what you should do as a parent, but it doesn't look bad. I'm like, you want to like text me a picture of it? Yeah, it's like, can you be a little more vague about it? Yeah, I was like, 
And she's like, well, I, I, like, I wouldn't take my child to the doctor if, I, if, if this happened to them. I'm like, then why are you upsetting me right now? <laughs> it also must be weird getting a text. Like, oh, my God. FYI, your kid's bleeding. I was like, I was like, I was like, I, I know I, I said I was going to ask you about, like, I didn't tell them right that we weren't going to Shabbat lunch because they, they put me on the spot, but I didn't realize they would like, be tech, like, tech stalking you right afterwards. <laughs> right. These people, like, they have too much access to you. They should be, have to, like, call you on the phone at, like, 8.30 at night afterwards. This school also for the blizzard, so normally my son gets out at 2 and they closed at 1.30 for the blizzard. Okay. And so they, uh, but then, like, they texted my wife, and they're like, we're closing extra early. We're going to close at 1.15 today instead of 1.30. When did they really? text that? I don't know why they need the extra 15 minutes, and they decide that midday. That's, yeah, that's really weird. I don't know, I was, man. This, this whole place. Yeah. Anyway, that's, 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 the, uh, that's the, the drama in my household. That's the ridiculous drama that might trap my household. Well, hopefully you get your dream house and uh, don't have to go to shady Jewish preschool anymore. Shady Jewish preschool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's actually the name of the school. I, sh- I should have, like, I saw, when I saw that big name, Shady Jewish Preschool and Friends, I probably should have gone to it. <laughs> um, uh, I was listening to, uh, I don't know if you listen uh, with your son, Kids Bop. I don't. You know what that is, though? Yeah, yeah. It's like, don't they do, like, regular songs, like, or popular songs in a kitty version of it? Yes. Yes. Uh, so I was listening to that earlier. And um, d- did you know that they s- changed one of the lyrics to All About the Bass? It's all about the what? Uh, all I'll th- see. It's, it's right after uh, All About the Bass. There's another line. I'll see if you could see what word they changed in here. Here we go. No trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass. Hey, I'm bringing it all back. Go ahead. Did you hear that? I'm bringing what back? Anal back. Anal? That's what they said. On Kids Bop? I'm bringing it all back. Go ahead. What else could that possibly have been? <laughs> What does the real version have? Booty. They apparently they thought that Ada bringing Ada back. Did you notice this or is a news story? Like, did you read this somewhere? How did you find out about this? You don't spend your Friday nights waiting for me uh, listening to Kids Bop. You might be listening to Kids Bop. I don't know. Maybe that's your thing. <laughs> I like children's versions of regular songs. Uh, I, I wish they would do like songs that are like really like not kid appropriate and change the lyrics to make them really kid appropriate in weird ways. <laughs> like the uh, nice certain nail song, like I want to fuck you like an animal. It was like I want to play with you like an animal. <laughs> like I want to play with my stuffed animal. <laughs> I want to feel you from the, the inside, teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> um. Where do you, where it was on, was it on like CNN or where, where was this reported? Uh, Up rocks. Okay, whatever that is. Yeah, they do uh, viral stories. Yeah, oh, I'm bringing anal back. <laughs> <laughs> what did they? What did I am? I so I'm sure they said what the real lyric was supposed to be. What's the real lyric? And nobody has any idea. They 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 never addressed it. It it's the part where they say booty. I have no idea what else that could be. It sounds, I think they said it. Play it again, please. I'm bringing it all back. Go ahead. Maybe they're just, maybe it's a way of like uh, saying, telling kids that like how they can remain a virgin. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I told you I knew a girl who had anal sex for like three straight years because she wanted to stay a virgin, right? You did not tell me that. I've heard about those kind of the girls, but I, don't, I didn't actually know one. Really? Yeah, th- th- yeah those people actually exist. She wow. she thought that she would remain a virgin by having anal sex every couple of days with her boyfriend. Wow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, was there any charges brought against the guy for having sex with a special ed student? <laughs> <laughs> what uh, was she like a norm of normal intelligence? I mean, not like obviously retarded, but like was she like someone you're like this girl's like pretty normal except for this insanely stupid belief? Yeah, she seemed like kind of 
kind of normal other than that. And I was like, yeah, but that's like really, really not normal. I mean, I guess it's a good form of not getting, good way not to get pregnant. Yeah, yeah, she wouldn't get pregnant. That is true. Um, what it did, at some point did she have like an epiphany and go like, "Hey"? No, I don't think so. I, <laughs> I, I, don't, know. I don't really know you, so you could just stick it in my 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 rear. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not ready for uh, you know uh, that kind of commitment to have regular sex, so we could just. Have anal sex. No, 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 no. I don't kiss on the first date. Just stick it in my ass. <laughs> you want to do an info wars? Um, do I ever? Yes. <laughs> All right. So for people who are maybe first time listeners, I am going to read... this come on, this is a first time listener. Come on, Jack. Go on. I'm going to read uh, a description of a website from Info uh, of a story from InfoWars, which is a website. And I, and then Mark is going to Where guess... would they find the web? What? Are you fucking with me? Uh, Yeah, don't you like tell people like where things are? No. Uh, And then Mark is going to come up with a crazy comment, and I will read a weird, uh, real comment, and it'll be crazier than whatever Mark makes up. Okay. So this one is: uh, state senators look to introduce death with dignity legislation this month. That was from that girl who had a terminally ill disease. And uh-huh. decided to end her life instead of suffering every day of her life, which apparently was a big problem with people on this site. Okay. So I assume this is part of the Obama agenda to euthanize um, Republicans. White male Republicans. That's good. Uh, th- this one says... I thought she decided not to go through with it. She killed herself on a satanic high holiday, All Souls Day. She must have been under demonic influence. Someone in the demonic healthcare system must have convinced her that it was a good idea. We have a demonic healthcare system? Apparently. Is that one one of the choices under Obamacare? (laughs) Yeah. Oh, uh, I I guess I can use the the state site to choose my plan. Do I want to go with the Aetna plan or do I want to go with the satanic plan? <laughs> it seems like the Aetna plan will cover 80% of in-network work. The satanic plan, ooh, they cover hell raisings. Hmm. I, I love how these people have a huge problem with her not suffering. It's like, oh, she should probably just suffer every day for the rest of her life because uh, you want her to. Right. Though you can always solve that by committing a crime, and then they'll those people will want you dead. <laughs> right. Um. Like if you uh like she should know what she should do is she should have had an abortion, and then they would have killed her. Yeah, they would definitely want her dead if she had an abortion. Yes. Uh, Facebook question. Okay. Facebook question. Yeah, not questions. We we got very little interest in our our, our show today. Thanks, guys. <laughs> uh, Gillum writes, uh, "Will you watch the Super Bowl? Who will you support?" Uh, yes, and I am going to support the team that thinks God is on their side and personally rooting for them to win. Uh, because I hate the Pats that much. Because I lived in Boston for five years and. They were very annoying. Are you saying the Seahawks think they have God on their side? Yeah. They, you didn't watch after they won the, the last game? Oh, uh, why? What did they say? They said we won because uh, of God, and it's in God's plan for us to get to the Super Bowl again. And God doesn't this, every, God doesn't that. every athlete say that? They're like, they thank God when they caught some touchdown. They're like, yeah, God had to take a break from like helping those, ki- those kids with leukemia to like, make sure I caught that football. Yeah, it's it's so ridiculous. I don't know why I have to thank God always. Can't they like at least like if you're gonna thank someone like they should like think they're like their dad, or like they think their grandpa taught them how to catch a football instead of always going like, thank God it was a ma- it was superseding of superpowers that made made us win today. Yeah, God's God's plan was to make sure I could bash someone else's skull in for, and make a lot of money doing that. It's a good thing God hates Tom Brady or we would have lost this game. Yeah. 
too bad God hate also hates the Colts and let the uh, Tom Brady deflate the footballs. Oh no! <laughs> the, I have to say the uh, the flake gate thing is the. Well, I'm going to root for the uh, the the Seahawks also because I'm a Jet fan and I can't stand the ha- the uh, Patriots. But uh, the the flake gate thing is the dumbest art. The, do you, have you been following the the, the flake gate thing? I just hate that everything is gate. I really, we can't, everything is gate, and every time it snows, it's snow apocalypse now. Or any any sort of weather is blank weather apocalypse. Stop it. Well, they can move on to, like, new, uh, they should move on to new, like, they can call it, like, the Flake Gazi. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, we can't come up with any other, you just came up with a name. So Nobody can do that? Could they call it, like, Deflate 11? <laughs> <laughs> deflate a cost. <laughs> Make them as terrible as possible. <laughs> uh, I like like people would argue there like like oh I mean like how could he he deflated the football I'm like I'm like wait wait you you're telling me they give the guy the football before the game and now people are pissed off because something happened to the football because they they give the quarterback the football before the game. And let them doctor the footballs up, and then are like surprised that they they doctored the footballs. The whole thing is ridiculous. They made a bigger deal out of that than any other thing that happened on the planet last week. It was that, and they had Marshawn Lynch, who was they said uh, they asked him questions at the Super Bowl, and he kept saying, "I'm here because I don't want to get fined. I'm here here because I don't want to get fined." And those are like the big. Sto- they always have the dumbest stories at the Super Bowl. Well, they, that's because they start coverage like two weeks before the game and they have coverage like 24 hours a day about it. They never have like good stories. Wouldn't it be great if it was like, uh, you found out Marshawn Lynch was like nailing Tom Brady, Tom Brady's wife. Well, didn't we have uh, a year or two ago, the guy murdered his girlfriend or something and then ended up playing the Super Bowl anyway. Which guy was that? Wasn't he on the Ravens? Something Ray Lewis. I don't think he, no, you're murder? thinking of uh, Ray Rice, who punched his girlfriend? No, there was a murder on one of the Super Bowls. In the last Did Ray, 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 Ray Lewis, there was something where like, he, like, he had, like, but that was like the 2000s Super Bowl. Mm. 2001, yeah. There, there like was one recent. a couple of years ago, because I remember making a, a comment about, I don't know which team to root for, the one with the rapist or the one with the murderer. Do we have to go back and re- like find the episode? <laughs> it was a Facebook post. I'll never find it. Unless I want to use that awesome uh, Wayback app that people are driving me up the wall with. What's the Wayback app? You can look at your old Facebook posts from a, a year uh, old and, and back, and then you could repost them. So, you know, I guess. If oh, you... is that why I see, like, I see people's old, like, 2009 posts? Yes. Oh, my God. So, you know, it's like, hey, I don't think I got enough likes on this the first time. Let's uh, fish for more approval. So that's kind of like uh, like looking through your old pictures, except in a more vain way. Right. It's, it's like you could use the app and look at them. You don't have to post them. People who are posting them are just being obnoxious. Yeah, well, I'm just thinking like it's like when you sit down and look at old pictures with your family and like an album – this is like the new 21st century, like annoying as hell way to do it. Yeah. Uh, only a lot of people don't post pictures. They just post like their text updates. Oh. Wow. That sounds awesome. I have a friend who does that like three times a day. It's like, oh, cool. A uh, comment about your kid that you made three years ago that you're now reposting. That's awesome. That wasn't clever then. That's great. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Facebook has got to be like, it's one of those things that like it's a really annoying site, to be honest. Or not to be honest, like to be like, everyone agrees it's a really annoying site and they're really annoyed by all this stuff on it. But we're all on it. Like, and all, we're all on it every day. I know, I know. It's, I don't know. Like people go like, can you believe that happened? Can you believe, can you, can you believe, can you believe? Dude, how long, you, you hate it so much. Yeah, no, I know it was on for like three hours today. <laughs> I just can't wait for the next site that's almost exactly the same and then everyone goes over there. Yeah. I actually went back on MySpace last week just to see. I'm sure MySpace is still awesome. They changed every all the formatting to look like Facebook now. <laughs> Did you go back on Friendster too? I could not remember my password. 
Um, was there anything before that, or was Friends the first one? I'm sure there might have been. Who knows? Do you know there's a prisoner that's suing the NFL for $88 billion um, over Dez Bryant's overturned catch in the uh, Dallas playoff game? Isn't it a billion? Billion. Yeah. Because, like, if you're going to sue, why not sue for billions? Yeah, that's not, it's not a waste of court's money at all. Uh, <laughs> Terry Hendricks, an inmate in the Colorado Correctional Facility, has filed an $88 billion, that billion with a B, lawsuit against the NFL over the reversal. Um, the total figure is $88,987,654,321.88, with the 88s presumably a reference to Bryant's uniform number. In his handwritten position, because it had to be handwritten, <laughs> um, he seeks the money for the reasons including but not limited to, for but not limited to, negligence, Breach of fiduciary duty and also reckless disregard. Okay, well that's insane. Shouldn't there be a rule? I thought there was a rule. If you waste court's time, you could get a f- fined or something. Isn't that, isn't you, that like a legitimate thing? Um, yes. So what, what they do is they go, "Hey, how long are you in prison for? Oh, life. Um, we'll make your sentence worse." Oh, right. I I, I forgot about the part that he's already in prison. Yeah, he's already in prison. What are you going to do to him? If I, was, if I went to prison for like the rest of my life, I'd file these things all the time. Oh, yeah. This is what like an episode of a show you don't like. You just sue the writers. <laughs> like, this like, keeps doing for like all the most ridiculous things. $88 billion. I didn't like the last episode of Parenthood. <laughs> yeah, uh, emotional distress from the grandpa dying. Yeah, yeah. Like $100 billion. The Mets haven't got on the shortstop yet. One of our like four listeners is going to be a huge Parenthood fan and have not watched that episode yet. <laughs> Spoiler have... alert: the show, the show that no one gives a shit about. I'm revealing stuff about the day after it aired. <laughs> uh, actually, I, 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 I said this before the, the show even came on. I was like, I was like, oh, spoiler, spoiler, honey. They, there's a uh, the, um, the show has an, a uh, there's a touching and emotional twist at the end of the show. And she's like, yeah, I know. I saw that on Facebook. I didn't read the article. And I was like, oh, I was just making that shit up. But I didn't know that actually was what was going to happen. <laughs> um, but, yeah, wouldn't you like just sue every day? Yeah, why and not? Some judge has to, has to like decipher your crayon and be like, okay, I have to write an opinion on this. I can't just go dismiss. I have to write why. This, like, it, you can't sue for $88 billion for this catch. I mean – it only has to work once, right? And you got a lot of time. Can you settle? Like, I'll settle for ten percent. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna sue for uh, eighty-eight billion dollars, but you know, I'll, I'll take a hundred thousand. What are you gonna do with all that money if you win anyway? <laughs> Buy a lot of cigarettes in prison. Hire a lawyer to get you out of trouble. Do um, you want to hear his complaint? Assembled before the honorable court are the plaintiff. I can't, it's all in, I can't read his handwriting that well. Oh my god! Someone had to actually read this. The uh, oh, they just they didn't like would have typed it. They actually an... posted like his actual handwriting. Yeah, they posted yeah. his actual handwriting. It's hard to read. Is it long? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah it's long. The whole thing. Oh my god, though, I think it's hilarious. Are you That's... ready for the uh, Fantastic Four reboot? Um. Yeah. I didn't see the first one, so I am excited for the reboot. <laughs> what is it? Are they all going to be really dark this time? Are they all going to be like one of them? It, is it Christopher Nolan directing it? One of them is really dark. He's a black guy. Oh, cool. Um, I, I are they all, get... all going to go with my, my my favorite idea to make all the characters midgets? <laughs> I, I don't get how what's going on because it's supposed to be a, a couple, their son, and like their best friend. But the the fire no guy. One, no one knows that besides the, you. The fire guy is <laughs> is black, and all of them are the same age. So I don't know. I don't no know one the, knows the actual the, knows that the fact to like go like oh this doesn't make sense. Yeah, I guess not. Uh, well, if, I guess if you saw the first movie, they they had that. Okay. Um. So they 
So maybe this is like the uh, the reboot. They're all I think not they're, family. Yeah, I think they're all just friends now. Yeah, maybe they're all like family. Maybe they're all like on a family family like Verizon plan, and that's that's the that's how close they get to be family. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. I mean, you don't need to advance the storyline. You can just uh, keep showing everyone's origin every single time. Every single time. That's all we give a shit about is the origin story. It's the most exciting part. I I love when the first 50 minutes of an hour and a half movie are about superheroes before they have their powers. Why can't they do reboots of movies that, like, don't matter as much? Not, no, like, reboots of, like, non, like, comic book stories. Like, just, like, they're, like, coming out out next, I'm coming out this summer. The reboot of Rain Man. <laughs> <laughs> you thought he watched in this reboot instead of Jeopardy, he's got to watch Wheel of Fortune, and instead of a uh, he he gambles at some casinos in Connecticut instead of Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think of the reboot of Ghostbusters? I thought that they, I thought it was part three. They're doing a reboot. Yeah, all female cast, and you could probably guess half the females in it. I could. Yeah. Um, two Cindy Lauper. Two, two of the females are the two females that are in like every uh, female comedy movie. It's the one from SNL. Yeah, Kristen Wiig. Kristen Wiig, who is kind of funny. Um, and the other one who's in every single movie now. Who? Melissa McCarthy, the fat lady. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So look, it's been wonderful. I think uh, I think one of the other two are, is in Saturday Night Live too. So. And then there's a token black woman to play the token black guy who was in the uh, original Ghostbusters. I bet I bet it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's going to be really, really good. Um, but hey, is, they, is it dark? Because <laughs> when they always do the reboots, they always make them like dark. Yeah, yeah, they like yeah. We're gonna take the old movie and we're gonna make it a little moodier. You would never see like the reverse of like they're releasing a new Batman and they make it like like it, like a new version of it was like can't be like the sixties version. Uh, yeah, that would be really funny. That would, <laughs> imagine how much that would throw everyone off if the newest Batman was like the Adam West stuff. It's like pow, boom, zap. <laughs> and they're walking up uh, the building where it's just the camera held sideways. <laughs> yeah, That'd be so awesome. That would be that would be nice. Why don't they give us the, this, these production rights in Hollywood? <laughs> they should definitely let us come up with all the ideas. Yeah, why not? Um, what else is going on, Jay? Are we, are, we, are we out of a show? We are pretty much out of a show. Hey, I don't hear you anymore. You don't? How about now? I don't really hear you now either. How about now? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, can tell you, I can tell you one other story. Okay. I told you this off the air already, so I don't know how well it's going to go the second time I'm telling you it. Right. But uh, but I, when I was telling you, I was like, oh, this should have been for the show. Uh, so now my son, uh, and why not? I'm going to do kid story again. Um, if you like the first story about my shady um, Jewish school, you'll like the story even better. <laughs> uh, my son, I, so now he goes, he's potty trained. And when he goes potty, he likes to have privacy. He's like, he's like I can do it myself. I can do it myself. And like he likes to shut the door when he goes poop, which I, I get that, but I don't really like. I like he can't really wipe himself, and like I don't know, he has like some accent. Like he's like there's a couple times where like he's like I'm gonna go poop myself, and then like we open the door and like there's poop everywhere. I don't know what the hell happened in there. <laughs> um, and you have to like great, I have to clean this up. There's like it's my kid. God damn it. Well, this sounds, uh, having a kid sounds awesome. I still can't hear you, Jay. My mic's dying. My my one working microphone is dying. Is there a battery on it, or what's going on? No, I, don't, I have no idea what's happening. Things just fall apart. Uh, yeah. Anyway, having a kid sounds awesome. <laughs> um. Yeah. So anyway, so uh, so the other day he's in there. He's in the bathroom. Uh, he's in there for a while, and like I don't hear like he has a little seat he puts on. Um, we're going to the like poops. He doesn't always use it, but like he usually uses it. And I don't hear that. I'm like, what's he doing in there so long? That always that always makes you nervous, right? When they're somewhere like being quiet for a long time. It's never yeah, it's yeah. never good. Never good. Open the door. He has found some permanent black marker that was had been in the bathroom. The entire wall is the kid doesn't even like the color. The entire wall is covered in black in like black ink, basically. 
Oh he's made God. like just giant circles everywhere. What would make somebody do that? I don't get. Like I know I understand he's, he's a kid. Into the but mind like... of a three year old. He thinks it's hilarious. Oh, God. Like I don't know what he was thinking. Like, he found the marker, and just like went to town coloring. I'm assuming this is permanent marker. Permanent black marker. Oh my God. Um, fucking everywhere. Like it's just, like it's like you open it. It was like. It's like it's like he threw up a permanent black marker over the over the wall. It's and like, so, like, I don't even know how he got that high. He must have like been standing on the toilet to like color that high. Th- this is the the part that's probably the hardest for parenting because, you know, if it was if it was like if I did something obnoxious in your apartment, you'd just be like, "You fucking asshole! You piece of shit!" Like, how do that'd you be handle really that? That'd be really weird. That'd be really weird if like, you opened the door and you had done that. Well, yeah, that would be pretty disturbing. <laughs> but what, what would you do if that was me at your place? <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? Would you would you punch me? Would you just be like, okay, you, I, 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 what, what? Why do you do that, Mark? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> let's, I, let's let's reenact. Let's let's pretend we're in your apartment. You, you open up the bathroom. I'm like, I'm done, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> As I, I announce it. when I leave your bathroom, always, I'm done. <laughs> I did it by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Wait me. Um, and, and you look in, and you see the uh, disaster. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, I did that. Why the fuck would you do that? Uh, I don't know. You slipped in a uh, non-permanent marker, right? This is like you're you're punking me. Oh, I just used what I found. Is that permanent? I, I. Why would you do that to my apartment? I didn't do it. You're a piece of shit. I know. I, I I wanted to see what would happen. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like the weirdest scenario for like an adult. Like, um, yeah, it just so, it, it would be so insane for an adult. I don't even like. I would probably be more quiet than angry because I'd be more. Conf- I'd be confused before I got furious. So you see it, and like I'm just like I, I barely sleep anymore. My daughter just plays a terrible sleeper. I feel like I'm like dead. I'm a walking zombie at the time. And I'm like always on like four cups of coffee to like get myself through the day. Oh, I miss um, coffee. It's pretty so bad. Much. Anyway, so I'm like I'm in that mindset of like my brain's half dead anyhow. And I've been reading up also on like effects of uh, sleep deprivation. And like they have like a list of things. And I'm like check, check, can't pay attention, check, Your brain no longer works, check. Like I'm like checking everything off. Mm-hmm. Getting getting agitated easier, check. <laughs> uh, anyhow, so I see that, and like on the one hand, you're like supposed to be you're gonna be like what the fuck? But you, like, you're almost like in disbelief he just did that. Right. So I'm like, oh, fuck. Why? Why did you... you like, I can't... You, you, like, I had to like get myself more worked up than I even am. Because I'm almost like, oh, God. I don't, I don't even want to deal with the fact that he just did that. Right. And then I'm like, well, got to punish him. Did you and close the door and then uh, wait for your wife to find it? No, I, I told her right away. Uh, <laughs> that would have been really funny. I should have had her go in there when she came out and blamed her for it. <laughs> I blamed her. I was like, why would you leave that marker in there? And she's like, she's like, what, what, like, like, you could have moved it. It's been there for like, like, I was like, whatever. It's your fault for leaving the marker in there. He was probably eyeing that thing for weeks. So now we're definitely not going time. to Shabbat lunch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he probably was. I don't know. So I'm like, what what toy do you like? Tell me, which toy do you want? Which toy do you like? I'm gonna get rid of it. That's, that's my first my first reaction. I'm like, your Buzz Lightyear, see your Buzz Lightyear? We're gonna throw it in the garbage. So we take Buzz Lightyear and throw it in the garbage. Uh then he doesn't seem to really care about Buzz Lightyear. So I take it out of the garbage, put it in my closet. Uh and then I'm like, what the hell do I do? And so I was like, You can't watch TV um for the next two days. But then I realized my wife, like, like the next night is going to be like home late from work, and I'm never going to get both kids to sleep if I don't let them watch TV. So um, I automatically like I punished him. Then I'm like, well, I can't even like can't even keep that punishment going because I need to like survive the next night. Um. But I, like the, at least the uh, I was like I was like I was like why can't you watch TV this morning? He's like because I colored the wall. Does he yeah. have any idea why that's a problem though? <laughs> And then we're discussing what to do about it because we're like scrubbing it, it doesn't come off. I'm like, don't they paint apartments? Can't we just like leave it? So you I go to ex- the landlady and be like, hey, 
if we just say cover the wall and marker, do we get charged for that? So you might actually lose your security deposit because of that. I can't lose that whole security deposit for like just like marker on the wall, can I? Mm, it depends how much of a dick your landlord is. I mean, most would probably see the thing is bathroom. Your bathroom was, is white, right? Yeah. How do you paint white over black and have it not show up forever? You put primer on and then you put paint over it. Huh. All right, Mr. Yeah, you didn't do anything about painting? No, no. I, <laughs> I would have just slapped paint on and say, why is it still black under there? <laughs> I had to repaint like my I had a, a roommate who uh he like paint like decided he had to paint his walls for his like r- the room mm-hmm. and then was like, Oh hey, I'm gonna be living in like South Africa for the next six months for work. Um so when the lease is over, um you might have to paint this back. See you guys later. And nice. we had to paint it we had we had we had to paint it back and we had to put primer on and that you put primer on and primer just takes care of it. College roommates are the best. This was like actually adult roommate, but yeah. <laughs> Pri- prior prior to prior to me and my wife. <laughs> Um, but uh, what, actually, yeah. and the story actually ends well in the sense of uh, well, two things. First, um, our nanny somehow just got the whole thing off, really, which we we couldn't figure out how to do that. And like, my wife's like, yeah, she just like used like I don't know what she used, but like it was gone. And I was like, oh, okay, it looks it looks, looks like it was never there. Oh wow, okay, yeah, I was like I was like she like it's not like we're like I'm like we didn't tell her she had to do that. I hope she's not like thinking like we're like like. There's marker on the wall. Get the fuck cleaning it. I, I, I don't know. What, but uh, she cleaned it. But uh, so then I was like, oh, I'm going to give him back his Buzz Lightyear. And I was like, I don't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> I went to my closet. I was looking everywhere. And I was like, I want to give it back to you now. I don't know where it is. I'm, I'm this brain dead. I, I took it away an hour. Like I, I tried to give it back to him pretty fast. And because I decided the t- I changed to the TV punishment and like two hours later, I couldn't remember where I'd put it. And to this day, it's still gone. Actually, so we're taking out the garbage, and then I hear, "I'm Buzz Lightyear," and I was like, "Oh, I must have made up the part in my head where I thought I took it out of the garbage." <laughs> you really are losing it, man. I really am. It's really getting bad. Maybe I should do a sleep study just so I can get more sleep. <laughs> <laughs> just set up like a weekly sleep study. <laughs> Attach, I don't care whatever you attach it. Just attach it. I want to get the fuck to sleep, okay? <laughs> um, that that's my story. Do we? Uh, we're done with the show, right? We are done with the show. So uh, hopefully somebody enjoyed that. <laughs> uh, send in your questions next time. Uh, the brink of sanity at gmail dot com. You can follow us on Twitter, brink of sanity three, and. Um, let me know if you need looking for recommend recommendations for a shady preschool yes and Facebook group join the Facebook group we're actually uh, get some people posting in there once in a while now which is nice and if you want a shirt there are only two designs left we had three and just like that five years later one of them sold out <laughs> <laughs> you should uh Next time we do shirts, you should put like sponsors on there. Oh, there won't be a next time. <laughs> you should put like Nike, like just sponsors, then try to send them a bill. <laughs> send them a Nike shirt? No, like it like be like bring your sanity and have like little sponsors the way they do like marathon. Like when you run a five K and the t shirt has like all different sponsors on it. Mm. Johnson and Johnson. Then the, then you send Johnson and Johnson like a picture of the shirt and go, Here's your bill. And they say, Here's your <laughs> cease and desist. Here's the invoice. Here's a lawsuit. Wait, we have to, wait, wait. You have to request the advertisement, and then we do it, and then we bill you. We just did the invoice, the the bit, the advertisement. Now we're just going to bill you for it. <laughs> if only it worked that way, I would just yeah. quit my job and bill everybody. All right. So thanks for listening, everybody. We will be back. Uh, probably in two weeks and we'll have some guests for our next episode so tune right. in next time to find out I got nothing I'm tired as hell tune in next time to find out if Jay has a uh, heart arrhythmia or something <laughs> <laughs> oh if you want to leave a voicemail uh, no one ever does Jay Yeah, we, we used to get them I don't know what okay. happened Dylan used to leave one every week 
Okay. 631-676-1181. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye, love. Goodbye, everybody. This is the end. Say goodbye. You better go away. I'm gonna leave.